That supreme event in steeplechasing circles, the Grand National sees 47 horses go to the post in this Aintree Classic. Gregory Peck has entered Owen Sedge, and there's Hollywood money riding on the gray. Four and a half miles and 30 jumps. That's what faces the field as they get away nicely. The crowd holds its breath as they come to Beaches Brook, a killing jump. Out and about is leading, and he's clear of Good Gracious, who goes down hard. Out and about is setting a tough pace, and jockey Josh Gifford has to hold him back in spots like the treacherous canal turn, a sharp left-hand bend. Out and about, still in front, as they pass the water jump and prepare to circle the course for the second time. There are 30 jumps to take before this race is over. Jumps that take their toll. Gregory Peck has more success in movies than in horses. His gray is lost in the pack as Out and About continues to score in the jinx of his number 13 and stays at the head of the pack. The grind begins to tell on the tiring horses. Still out and about, but now the real threats have proven themselves. Ayala, Loyal Tan, and French Lawyer are well up as they swap the lead with every stride. Then the heartbreaker for out and about. The leaders clear the fence and ditch, but out and about goes down. The gallop race ended. Last heartbreaking 500 yards on the flat. Carrick Begg is in front. Looks like a sure winner when Ayala starts up on the outside. His 19-year-old jockey pushes the outsider over in front. Pat Buckley and Ayala come in out of nowhere to become the horse racing team of the hour. One of the most thrilling Grand Nationals of recent memory, and one this young jockey will never forget.